Hey, this is Del's note. Just uh, gonna show you what buffs I use for uh, maximum gankage here in uh, the Legion expansion. I have, uh, first of all, the, probably the one you won't be able to get as easy will be the uh, the buff here that I have my cursor on. Uh, power greatly increased. I, I want to say that's about a 20% or 25% increase on damage uh, percentage wise and uh, it's from a mage buff that mages get from their an NPC from their garrison and I'm not sure what the cooldown is on it but it lasts for 60 minutes and I have 10 or 11 minutes left on it so that's a that's a great I mean if it's available to you um, I would suggest getting that um, S SI7 Intel uh, three seconds after stealth, you get guaranteed critical strikes. It's really good for um, for the opener damage, making it all crit. Um, and you get that from an NPC in your rogue quarter, Matthias Shaw. I'm gonna use the buff right now. It's gonna NPC is gonna come out and give it to me. It's a one minute cooldown. Um, so every time you die, you can put that up and get some extra damage. Um, I use uh, Whispers of Insanity just because uh, it's a, they haven't gotten an upgrade yet in Legion. Um, there was a Crystal of Insanity for Pandaria, Whispers of Insanity for Draenor, and there hasn't been a new one. So I use that instead of spending a thousand gold on um, flasks. Uh, then I use uh, Out of Combat Health Regeneration Increased by 1000% Food. Um, I can't remember what it was called. I think it was called, um, uh, fuck. Um, like Warrior's Grub or some shit. Um, Brawler's Grub. I don't know, something, something weird like that. But, you know, 1000% combat regen. Um, so you can just pop Vanish and come back to full health. Uh, Warp Walking, you know, the three buffs from, uh, Suramar here. I use those, but I mean, they're not really important. Now I'm going to quickly go over my talents and honor talents for you to show you which ones I use for uh, maximum damage on the opener. The uh, Master of Subtlety uh, increases damage for 10% up to 5 seconds after you break stealth. And I believe it refreshes whenever you Shadow Dance, so pretty much always up um, as sub. Uh, Night Stalker, uh, you've moved faster while stealth and your abilities deal 12% more damage. Pretty awesome. It was hard to lose Subterfuge with the extra 2 seconds on, uh, on Shadow Dances, but um, that damage is, that 12% damage is uh, greatly loved. Deeper Stratagem increases my combo points from 5 to 6. And whenever I use Mark for Death, which is down here, it actually gives you six combo points instead of the regular five. Soothing Darkness, 3% uh, maximum life uh, while you're in stealth and while Shadow Dance is active. Um, it's it's a easy to it's easy to take this one over Elusiveness. Um, elusiveness is great in PVE. It's great in instanced PVP. Soothing dar Darkness is kind of a more of a solo rogue type deal, so um, that that heal is awesome. Prey on the weak, 10% increased damage from all sources uh, whenever you disable someone with a kidney shot or a cheap shot. Um, that's 10% damage. It's it's uh, you know cheap shot, four seconds of increased damage. It's pretty good. Premeditation uh, gives you extra combo points on uh, cheap shot and shadow strike, which is good for your following eviscerates. Mark for death, as mentioned before, um, you can gain five combo, five or six combo points, eviscerate, and then use this. Get six combo points back for another eviscerate back to back, and that's pretty much what my macro does. Uh, Gladiator's medallion for PVP, your first PVP talent. Um, it's just a PVP trinket. Reinforced armor, more more health, which uh, helps with the hit that you take from Thief's bargain. You lose 25% of your maximum health uh, with that. I'll go back to that later, though. Cut to the chase. Whenever somebody around you, an enemy, uses a uh, speed-enhancing effect, like a blazing speed for a mage or a sprint from a rogue, and you're within um, 10 yards of them, you get that plus a little bit more speed so you can catch them. 
it's really fun whenever you gank a mage and they automatically get um, blazing speed and you get blazing speed for the same amount of, of speed. It's, it's pretty fun. So it helps you keep next to your target and it also makes you immune to slowing effects. Uh, Shadow's Caress, while in stealth, the cooldown recovery of all your abilities increased by 30%. It actually makes Vanish like a 20 second cooldown with, with Thief's Bargain. Um, Cold Blood, when activated your next cheap shot or Shadow Strike will deal 10% of the target's total health and shadow damage. It's actually more like 17% or 15% or something like that because um, um, it's, it's scaled up just slightly in PvP. Alright, Thief's Bargain, this is probably the most important thing. Uh, damage increased while stealth and shadow dance for t by 20%, and the cooldown on your Vanish spell is reduced by 90 seconds, uh, which takes it from a minute to 30 seconds, and a little less with Shadow's Caress. Um, it's pretty awesome. Uh, the hit on health is, you know, my 2.6 million HP goes down to like 2.1, um, which is okay because that damage is really good. And the vanish is always there. Like, you vanish, get into, tr get into some trouble, vanish, and then as soon as you get into trouble again, your fucking vanish is up, and it's, it's great. Um, the 20% damage is also, I mean, you see all these abilities that have gone through, they, almost all of them have percentage wise damage increases and all that shit stacks it all adds up and you're about to see some big crits my macro that I use for opener is as follows and it's uh, a cast sequence macro that shadow strikes me to the target cheap shots eviscerates mark for death eviscerate Gormaz bite eviscerate. So essentially two large eviscerates and then a medium size eviscerate just in case they're not dead. Um, the cast stance zero shadow dance uh, that casts the shadow dance just for the cheap shot. Um, and if, sh if, uh, it, if shadow dance isn't available, it will halt the macro. Um, no stealth, uh, use no stealth 13. We'll use my trinket here. Um, my PvP trinket that gives uh, versatility. And then a no stealth macro for rugged skull blasters of the harmonious that crits up to 800k, uh, so it's it's not a bad buy if you have extra money. And it's 880 item level, so. All right, so I'm gonna go out there and gank a little bit. <clears throat> One point one four eviscerate. One point one four million eviscerate non crit. That's what this guy's stable for. of shadows.
is a prop paladin with 4.4 million HP. Alright, I'm gonna pop everything on. Find those who cannot travel my cattle. 